Hello, my lovely book lovers. Welcome back to Procaffeinated with Books. This whole week has been quite eventful for me, and I thought if I don't share it with you guys, it would be a tragedy. So, first of all, let me brief you all about what just happened. I was just wandering out on my weekend nights, and there I came across this whole stores book sale location where they were actually hosting book sale from 4th of august and i had absolutely no clue and it was the second last day of the sale so i just hopped in to check how their collection was and initially i anticipated that most of it is children's section but then again i went hall in half the hall after hall and there were multiple halls might i tell you and finally discovered the whole adult section where there were different books listed out there and that's where i decided i might just have to come back in tomorrow grab in for the last day and explore this all in detail so let me take you right into the video and share the glimpses of this whole book sale haul and if it suits you i personally found it quite overwhelming because this is by far the biggest english collection book sale that i've seen in thailand and especially in bangkok most of the book sales that happen are in thai language and there are just few stalls like you might have seen in my earlier book fair videos who had certain collection of english books so this was quite a charm And now that we are back, I think it's time to show you what all I got from here. We'll start off with the books first and then we'll move to the activity section and rest of the things that I actually got in. Because there was a huge section of children's book collection, like two halls were literally just focused on the children's section, not even middle grade, specifically children's. So there was obviously a lot of things that I felt like I could pick for my nieces and actually I did. But talking about myself and the books that I wanted to pick up are these nature too. The first one is the Seven Endless Forests that you can see right here. Before I actually get in to tell you what this book is about, this is a hardcover edition that you might want to see. And yes, I have not taken out the film yet out of this because a lot of time what happens is we buy books, put them on our shelves and then just forget about them. So this time I'm not going to take off the film unless I actually plan to read it and that way it will be a reminder to my own eyes to prioritize the books after buying them and also reading them than just going after digital books one after another. 
Now, talking about this book, it's actually a part of the Boneless Mercies, which is a whole different fantasy series in itself. And this one, however, is a standalone novel. The blurb of this book is quite short. Let me just read it out to you. I looked around our steading, taking in all the open space, all the emptiness. It seemed as if Gaida, Morgan and I were utterly alone. The last three people in all of Worsland. The thought had a sort of peaceful carelessness to it, like falling asleep outside on a warm day, body on the green grass, gentle breeze and bare toes. But peace is just a season, like the Wheel of Fortune card. From the butcher's parts, pick, life spins and nothing lasts forever. Now that actually sounds promising and I'm excited to hopefully get to this one day because I have five fantasy books lined up for me. So I know the chance of this one would not come anytime soon. But I'm hoping to get to you by the fall season because that would be a appropriate season and a mood to pick this one up and probably get reading. Moving on to the next one that we have is The 100 Year Miracle. This book is also a science fiction slash literary fiction with the fantasy realm built up and everything into it. Talking about the story in here is focused around this miraculous event that happens once in 100 years only. And if I talk to you about the main protagonist in the story in here, she is basically trying to do the whole study of the creatures and the water which has suddenly turned green because of the miracle that has happened around. And if you closely look at the cover, I'm sure you can find the resemblance of northern lights that are reflecting on the water in here. And our main protagonist, while she's doing the study, she just has those six days to actually uncover the whole mysteries of the creatures features within the water, why this phenomenon is actually working and what kind of benefits can be driven for humankind out of it. But six days seems to be very less to actually complete this whole mystery. But let's see if the protagonist can do it before the water turns from green to dark. Now let me just tell you a quick few things before I move ahead to the children's section that I initially actually shortlisted around seven to eight books to purchase. but out of those most were a part of a certain series and I really didn't want to get mismatched collections for myself where I actually had the first book, I'm getting the second book in a hardcover of different sizes and everything. Those things just really annoy me. So my inner self said that you should actually focus around the standalone versions and these were the only two that actually intrigued me from story point of view from price point of view and even from the collection point of view there were certain other books that i wanted to get in as well but they were not in the best condition in there so i might had to skip them through Anyways, without any further rambling, let's just quickly get to the kits and other books and special editions that I got to capture in here. First, and I would like to share this horror granny box set. This is basically a collection of books that actually gives you a whole guided experience of how you create so these horror creatures that are mentioned in the book along with the origami sets and everything that you can see in here. So there are sheets, there is books, there is all the activity related details that you basically need to create this and I think because the spooky season is soon arriving this would be a good collection. Next up I have this. So one of my nieces is basically an Avenger fan so when I actually saw this I think this would be a good one wholesome collection for him to have in. It has all the six books of the Avenger stories in here plus two additional Guardians of Galaxy stories that are enlisted in. It is obviously hardbound and the pages inside that I saw while in one of the sample books that were actually not sealed back. It was like those glossy magazine covers and pages that you have like in Vogue magazine. Those kinds of pages. So I think this would be a wonderful collection for him to have. Let's hope he loves it. Also, quickly moving you through some Star Wars storybooks, puzzle collection and coloring and everything, those mosaic build up pieces that I got to cover. Plus, I also got to pick up two different puzzles for kids for the little ones in there. These are also 3D somehow and these characters come alive when you basically scan them in apps and you complete the puzzle and then the whole character pops in ahead like it's coming out in here. Can you see that? So that's how it 
probably work so i was really excited the two stories that i actually got in here were little red riding hood and the other one was this so hopefully it would be good the final one that i got was the velveteen rabbit storybook this one came in a 4d augmented reality feature with the same concept of applications and everything coming into the life and then they do certain activities that are mentioned in the book i did wanted to try this so i did open up the whole book and i downloaded the app and the experience was fine from an adult perspective probably their children will like it but from my perspective i think the overall user experience could have been enhanced a bit more considering those portions and colorings and everything that they asked you to do within the whole app and everything and the whole point of getting books is basically getting children away from phones and electronic gadgets that they seem to be spending so much time so i really don't know how i feel about these two ones that i last mentioned so we'll see about this and i'll keep you updated on those that my lovely friends were all the things that i basically got the whole chunk in collection i know a majority of it falls into the children's section but that's majorly because a lot of it was basically children's collection and there was one hall dedicated to adults but then again i had some difficulties picking up stand alone versus the series whole all those sorts of thing nevertheless these are the books that i actually got along with the activity sections and everything else i hope you had a lovely time watching this i'll catch up with you very soon in my next video until then keep your coffee strong and your tbrs long and also keep reading keep shopping goodbye